All right. Hello. Hi, artists. Um, welcome to Art in the Park 2020. Um, it is a Parks and Rec program that we've been putting on for several years um, in the parks uh, where we'll host an activity that we teach you and then you're able to come and participate. Now, kind of like a lot of things in life right now, things are going to look different for art in the park this year. So what we're going to do is provide virtual lessons that we can share with you online. Um, and kind of the cool thing is that you'll not only be able to do social distancing, but still, um, I guess, but also uh, be able to do the activities at your convenience. So you might be able to see the video, watch it, prep your materials, and then gather your kids around and you guys can do it um, really at your convenience, which is still kind of cool. So I'll go ahead and tell you a little bit about this month's um, theme. Every July is National Parks and Rec Month. And so there's typically always a theme that kind of we frame our lessons around. And this year's theme, it's called We Are Parks and Rec. And basically it's just a theme that highlights all the different ways that Parks and Recreation serves the communities um, that they're part of. And so each week we're going to focus on a different attribute that Parks and Rec is able to um, support the community with. And so this week's is active. So we are active. So without further ado, I'll go ahead and get started on our lesson. I think you'll really enjoy it and I hope that you have a lot of fun. All right, our artist inspiration for today is a guy named, or I should say artist, Alberto Giacometti. And he was a Swiss sculptor. And so a Swiss sculptor, Swiss would be from Switzerland, sculptor would be an artist who creates artwork that you can walk around. So it's 3D. Um, and he was really inspired by the way shadows um, looked and interacted with the objects that created them. Okay, so we know that shadows come from a light source and um, if the light source is behind you then it ca casts a shadow onto the ground. And so in his artwork you can see a lot of very long linky figures oftentimes in an action pose. So I talked with you about how this week our lesson is about um, how Parks and Recreation is active. So we are going to create sculptures that are showing um, a figure in motion or in action. Supplies you'll need, hopefully they're things that you may have around the house, um, are aluminum foil, scissors, marker, cardboard, um, and then hot glue gun or tape. Um, a quick look at some examples of things you can make. I've got a girl chasing a soccer ball and a boy playing baseball. All right, to begin, you're gonna need a piece of aluminum foil. On one end of your aluminum foil, you're gonna divide it using your marker into thirds. So I drew two lines to divide that into thirds. On the other end, I'm going to just divide it in half. So I use my marker to draw a line dividing it in half. Next, I'm going to use scissors to cut along that line or those lines that we just drew. Once you're done cutting, you'll start to see how these pieces that we just cut into our foil with, this is actually going to be what makes up our legs and our arms and our head at the top. So in the middle, you're going to scrunch in where the waist would be. And you'll kind of start to see you'll have five different little flaps hanging off there. Now, when it's time to start 
crumpling and squeezing to form the legs and the arms and the head, what I want you to be aware of is that you can always um, scrunch it a little harder, but it's very difficult to unscrunch it. So you kind of want to just do a little bit at a time and keep moving throughout your figure until it starts to look like the shape that you're wanting to um, or wanting it to look like. If you notice that your arms are a little long, you can always fold the ends or squish them in towards the body, okay? That way you're kind of getting things looking a little proportionate. Okay, so now I can start folding my arms and legs um, into different action poses so that I can start um, getting him in his action pose. You'll see I tore off another piece of foil because I'm going to use this to, to start adding um, details. So maybe he has hair, maybe he has a hat on. My guy is actually going to be skateboarding. So I'm making a skateboard, I'm forming all the parts, and then I'm going to be gluing them together. Okay, artists, that is it um, for this week. Thank you so much for joining us, and we hope that you are all continuing to stay safe and healthy. We want you to know that we're thinking of you um, and cannot wait till we can resume all of the fun activities that we look forward to each year. So have fun creating. Please join us next week, and we will talk again soon.